I'm gonna be eating like a 1950s housewife for one day. So I found this chart online. I don't know how accurate it is, but it showcases three different age categories, like 20 to 29, 30 to 49, and then 50 and up, I think. I'm just gonna follow that category and try to eat like that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to walk in these all day. These are, these are pretty crazy. I, I don't know. So like a true 1950s housewife, I prepped some bread. I prepped this overnight and I'm just gonna bake this. It's actually pretty easy to make bread. It seems like it's hard, but it's actually the easiest thing ever. <laughs> Depending on the bread, of course. Okay. I'm just flouring the surface. Two eggs, toast. I'm gonna add some raspberry jam to it. I have a serving of fruit. I actually don't drink coffee, so instead of coffee, I'm gonna have some black tea. English breakfast tea. A little bit of milk to it. And some sugar. There she is, breakfast is served. Honestly, I think this is a pretty traditional breakfast even by today's standards, just eggs, toast, fruit, and coffee or tea. Let's dig in. some cookies. I found this recipe for cherry winks. It's a vintage recipe. This recipe actually won this lady 5,000 US dollars, which is the equivalent to around 60,000 US dollars today, which that's insane. So these better be amazing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna follow this recipe and make it and see what the hype is for these cherry wink cookies with a Y. Why is cookie with a Y? Why? This is actually butter flavored shortening. I'm just gonna add this in here. Half a cup of sugar. And then I don't know if they use these mixers, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm just gonna cream these together. Now I'm gonna add the egg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so not 1950s housewife of me. Now I'm gonna add in the dry ingredients. Oh my god, they're stuck. Put oh. it in the 
cornflakes. If you saw my apartment right now, <laughs> the mess, the mess. It's a lot of, a lot of dishes, a lot of mess. I'm dreading it, I'm dreading cleaning. <laughs> and then I also have to bake a fucking cake. I'm sick of this. All right, now I'm just gonna top each cookie with a quarter of the maraschino cherry. How cute is that? So vintage looking, oh my god. How freaking cute. Now I'm just gonna put them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I am not excited about this. They're ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, but how cute are these? Kind of obsessed with them. Okay, lunch is a little bit weird. It said a small serving size of meat, three sardines, leafy greens, and cheese. I wouldn't pick this for lunch. It's a little random, but whatever. And then also my fresh bread came out of the oven, so I'm gonna have a slice of that with a pat of butter and some orange juice. I don't know if that's a pat, but I'm just gonna go with it. I think that's a little bit more than a pat of butter. This is my favorite bread, my bread. It's so freaking easy and tasty, like, I love it. All right, I don't even know where to start. I'm just like. Mmm. <laughs> I haven't had orange juice in so long. All right, so the mix of cheese sardines is not as bad as I thought it would be. It's actually pretty good. Honestly, this is kind of a solid meal. For dessert, I'm also allowed a little cookie with a small serving of ice cream and some tea with milk. Honestly, this is awesome. Let me try this cookie. Oh wow, that's really good. Okay, I got some black cherry ice cream because I just thought that sounded like super 1950s. All right, we're gonna bake a cake now. I'm gonna make a pineapple upside down cake. I'm gonna add melted butter over this, brown sugar all over the butter. Now we're gonna put the pineapple slices Cherry time. People really liked maraschino cherries in the 50s. to drink milk during this time period. Is that why the milkman was so popular? Okay, so for dinner, I'm gonna make this 50 minute meatloaf recipe that I found. It's from 1955. It's a Hunt's tomato sauce recipe. So meatloaf was basically poor people's food during the war rations. And in the 1950s, that's when America really started to just embrace meatloaf as like an American food. I just find this really funny because it says, I think busy homemakers and career girls will really appreciate this one. I'm just gonna put this meatloaf in the oven. Honey, I'm home. My military man is back from work. How was work, sweet? It was delightful, darling. Oh, I'm it, so happy to hear that. Isn't life swell? Oh, it's so swell. Isn't it just <laughs> remarkable? Okay, dinner is served. We're having peas with butter, 
meatloaf, and mashed potatoes. All right, let me try this meatloaf. Thanks for making such a nice, tasty, cozy meal. Looking so cute while doing it, working so hard on your YouTube video. You're the best <laughs> wife that anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> I oh, love you. Was that film? Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't let them see how much I love you. <laughs> don't let them see the truth. This meatloaf is kind of different to what I'm used to actually. Like I've, I'm used to more of like the southern meatloaf style, but this is more like the classic 1950 vintage meatloaf style. I love peas. That was pretty tasty. Is it husband approved, darling? 100% husband approved. If you spoil your husband like this, he will love you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dessert. I'm a bad housewife, so I'm gonna have a slice of cake. <laughs> let's see what's good. All right, let's see how good this cake is. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. Obviously, you gotta have our milk. Is it good? It's so good. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. Mmm, not bad.